let's keep working on this overall vector. Now, one thing that maybe I haven't made clear enough is that you choose the axes. You can choose any axes you want as long as they're perpendicular to each other. You can choose any axes you want as long as they're perpendicular to each other. Um, and you can also choose what your positive directions are. So for all the problems that we've done so far, we've chosen up and to the right as positive. But now I'd like to choose something different. Now I would like to choose down and to the right as positive. This is a good notation for showing that down and to the right are now positive. So uh, our x-axis is still horizontal and our y-axis is still vertical, but now um, right is still positive, but now down is positive. So this is a good notation. This is probably the notation that your textbook and your instructor use as well. Um, this is a good notation for uh, what our positive directions are. I, I encourage you to adopt this notation. All right, well, since we just changed our positive directions, um, our previous signed numbers are probably not right anymore, so we better erase those. The magnitudes are still correct. This side still has a length of 3, and this side still has a length of 4, but now the signed components could be different. So now I'd like you to pause the video and, using these new positive directions, try to write down the new signed components. Well, so the right is still positive, and this vector is pointing to the right, so it should be positive. Right is positive, and the component is pointing to the right, so that's positive. How about vertically? Well, now down is positive, and the y component is pointing down. So now the y component is positive. This was different from our previous example, so I hope you can compare the previous example with the previous axes, and this example with these axes, and I hope you can see why Previously, the y component was negative, but now it's positive. The y component was pointing down in both cases. The y component was pointing down, um, but if we choose down to be the positive direction, then this comes out positive. And previously, when down was the negative direction, this came out negative. Um, so I hope that you'll take some time and understand why these axes give us these signed components. Well, you can see that when you change the positive directions, that's going to change your signed components, but it's not going to change the magnitudes. Now I've chosen uh, some new positive directions. Please pause the video and try to figure out what the signed components are now for these new positive directions. Let's start with the x component. The positive direction is now to the left, but the component is pointing to the right. So it's negative. If the positive direction is left and the component is pointing to the right, it's pointing in the negative direction. How about the y component? Our positive y direction is up, but the y component is pointing down, so that's negative. If up is the positive direction and you're pointing down, then you're pointing in the negative direction. So I hope that you're getting the hang of this uh, notation that when you draw the axes, the arrow on the axis indicates the positive direction. So for example, here I put the arrow pointing up, so that means up is our positive direction. And here I put the arrow pointing to the left. So the convention is that that means that left is our positive direction. So this is a really good notation. It's probably the same as your instructor uses for indicating the positive directions. Here, yet again, are new positive directions. So once again, we're going to have to re-figure out what the signed components are. So please pause the video and figure out the signed components for these positive directions. Starting with the x, our positive x direction is to the left, because this arrow is left, but the component was pointing to the right, so it's negative. If positive is left and the component is pointing right, it's pointing in the negative direction. How about the y component? Well, let's see, our positive direction is down, because this arrow is pointing down, um, but the component was also pointing down in the positive direction. If we choose down to be our positive direction, and uh, the component is pointing down, it's pointing in the positive direction. Remember that none of these changes had any effect on this number. 
We never use a sign for the overall vector. We only use signs for components.